and Hull City tonight have made one change and that is Adama Traore comes in to replace Scott Twine. Ryan Orsop still not ready and Liam Rossini has said in the build-up to this game that there is no set timeline for when Ryan Orsop will return. So Matt Ingram retains his place in goal and he started this match at Ewood Park earlier in the season, this fixture, with Coyle, Jones, Greaves and Slater across the back. Slater staying in the left back position. Tyler Morton, the former Blackburn Rovers learning, and John Michael Serry holding midfielders. Dilap, Tufan and Traore in the attacking midfield department with Aaron Connolly, the brace man from Ewood Park, leading the line. Jones now with a long ball forward, looking for Delap. Delap to the right of the penalty area. Clever footwork to get into the area. And Delap is holding on for the ball as long as possible. Oh, magnificent finish from Liam Delap. He waited and waited some more and then places the ball under Wallstadt with venom. Didn't need a corner. The power did the job. Hull City won. Blackburn Rovers nil. Liam Delap. Joins Connolly and Tufan on seven apiece. They find themselves behind. They're looking to respond quickly, though, with Markande, who's trying to get away from Traore, and it's a slip pass through. Oh, off the post! The very first shot Blackburn have in response is so close to making it 1 1. Here's Greaves in the meantime. He's tried to hit a ball in behind the defence. It's well weighted. Connolly trying to twist away from his marker, places it into the net. And Hull City can afford to hit the cruise control button at the moment. Two shots, two goals. And Blackburn Rovers walk back to halfway with hands on hips and a few bowed heads. Hull City, however, can have their heads held high. Hull City 2, Blackburn Rovers 0. Here comes Telalovic through towards Sami Schmodix. This is dangerous for Blackburn. Callum Britton hits the chest of Ingram. The danger's not over as the ball's on the penalty spot. Callum Britton fakes the first shot. Two courageously charging in for the next attempt as Greaves and Slater throw themselves in front of a shot from the right side of the area and then hit viciously by Markande in a scrambling chance. But it was a big save from Matt Ingram. Connolly holding on to it, trying to slide the ball out wide to Louis Coyle. Meeting him that time was Pickering. Blackburn do well and win the ball. They've gone for a long ball forward. And now there's a chance for Blackburn. One on one. Sammy Schmodix chips the keeper. 2 1. And it is a long ball forward. And the top scorer gets in behind, halves the deficit. And it's a 15th goal of the season for Sammy Schmodix as Delap turns, loses the ball momentarily, wins it back, 4v3 developing, Delap now has Connolly to his left hand side, he touches once, not twice, then shoots but well blocked by sliding bodies, comes out to Slater on the edges, he'll play it to Seri, spots an unmarked two fan on the right side of the box, controls it, shoots, oh wide, somehow wide from Ozan Tufan. And the north stand were about to ripple into raptures of delight again. The Tigers win it back, Traore trying to make a move down the left-hand side. Hull City have had no real joy down the left tonight. In terms of getting the ball in from crosses, it's been aimed down the right as Hull City scramble and midfield battle gets a little bit school playground-like. Blackburn come up with the goods, they're into the area with Sigurdsson, then Pickering, it's in! Blackburn Rovers have equalised on the stroke of half-time. Their two-goal lead has evaporated Hull City and the man who was sent off at Ewood Park has bagged the equaliser. As Ingram plays short towards Morton on the edge of his area and will now play towards Greaves, up to Tufan. First touch gets around his man before a free kick is given. Millwall and Sheffield Wednesday still leading their matches 1-0. Another Blackburn player has been booked. And uh, Morton is just repositioning the ball in the quadrant. Up goes one arm, four waiting around the penalty spot. And in it swings, looking for Greaves. It's going to land at the feet of Traore on the turn. Oh, what a save from Valstadt. That was nestling in the top left-hand corner from my position. With two hands, the keeper turns it away. 
And that was a big, powerful stop. And that would have rebuilt all the confidence from earlier on. Corner from the southwest side. In it comes. Little flick by Delap, and it's in! Alfie Jones has turned it home in the six yard box. And Blackburn, who are vulnerable from set pieces, have let the situation get to them. And Alfie Jones with his second ever home city goal. Jones now playing a long ball away. Two fan. Well, he's ridden the challenge of uh, Dominic Heim. And a yellow card has come out here. And Dominic Heim has been sent off for the collision with Ozan Tufan. And Dominic Heim, now whether or not there was sufficient contact, he's obviously very upset about the decision. Matt Donahue was immediately convinced, however. So once again, Blackburn against the Tigers are down to 10 men. Play now towards the keeper and Hill. Peels for handball from the north stand in that sarcastic fashion. But now they fall silent because Blackburn are building a move. Schmodix went from the right into the penalty area. Oh, given away by Morton. Dangerous chance. And it just popped up the shot 18 yards out in front of Ingram. But he keeps the ball in hand. In the middle of his own half, across now towards Hill. Twine is going to nip in and win it back. And he's got Doherty for company. Here he travels, 20 yards out, Doherty strikes at goal, not far away. Whistles past the far post. Greg Doherty looking for his first goal since playing in October against Blackpool.